Yes, it is. Thanks so much for that verification, Tom. It's Autism Awareness Month, and here in Little Rock, there's an adult autism activist working hard to raise awareness. And TH311's Jay Jackson shows us how he's inspiring others by beating the odds of what someone with this disorder can do. Because a friend of mine, almost five years ago, her son has autism, and she was taking me to Walmart, and she wanted me to go to her church and tell my story with autism. I didn't want to. I just wanted to go to Walmart. But she said she was going to drive me off on I-285 and I was going to walk home on the highway. It was raining, so it was either walk in the rain or go to her church. That's the origin story of autism activism for Marcus Boyd, who's spoken to crowds all around the country for the last few years. He says it's hard to believe he was nonverbal for the first 13 years of his life. I was having tinder tantrums. I was throwing desks. I was rocking in corners, I was slobbing on myself, I was using the bathroom on myself. He started seeing a specialist when he was six. Living a life in poverty, he was one of 22 kids and was in and out of foster care. He credits local autism experts for being a village for him, but says there were others who kept him behind, mistaking his outbursts as mental issues and placing him in mental hospitals. You went from that to quiet rooms, from that to being admitted in the hospitals if you if you acted a certain way or the way the administrative did it, like you was admitted to the hospital for 90 days. That was your that was your punishment to get in line. He became more verbal by age 18 and never looked back in his adult years until his friend forced him to share his story. At first you were scared, but what made you decide to overcome that fear to share your story? I have autism, so I've been doing that, doing this for almost five years, fighting for voiceless individuals that have autism. I know how it feels because I was nonverbal until I was 13, 13 and a half. And so he fights for laws, programs, rights, policies, with a focus on low-income families to be able to reach the best resources. After that service, that it was not about me. It was about the voiceless, millions of voiceless individuals that can't get their story heard. In Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. What an inspirational story he has. Great energy there, and he's got more resources he mentioned there, and then Jade's put them in links to them for autism for children and adults. It's on the website, THV11.com.